Hey guys! For today's video, I'm gonna be trying out some new drugstore mascara. So I've done a video like this before and you guys have requested for me to do it again. So I picked out some of the newer drugstore mascaras. Um, a couple of them I've already tried but just recently and I've only used them once each so it's still gonna be like kind of my first impressions I guess. So I'm just gonna get started because there's five so it's gonna take a little bit of time. <laughs> So if you guys would like to see me try out these newer drugstore mascaras, then please keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead with the first two mascaras that I've already tried. So this won't really be a surprise if you've watched my other videos, but I'm going to try them again. I'll do on this eye the Essence Instant Volume Boost Mascara, and this was $5.99, I'm pretty sure. So it says ready in 10 seconds, smudge proof and intense black. So when I had tried this um, last time, it was just like super wet and a little bit clumpy, but it could be a little bit different this time just because I have used it once, so we'll find out. Okay, so it's a little bit better than it was when I first used it. When I first used it, it was like really wet, so I must have just used up a little bit of the product, so there isn't quite as much that comes out on the brush, but I still found it a little bit hard to separate my lashes with it, so it was a little bit difficult, but I mean, it looks pretty good. That was just the one coat, so I'm probably just going to wait just a few seconds and then go in with the second coat and see if I can build it up or if it's just going to get clumpy. So it's a little bit, it started to get a little bit clumpy, but I could build it up a bit more. So it's actually not bad. Um, it still kind of made my eyelashes like stick together and it was hard to separate them. I mean, overall it's like, okay. Now we'll try on my bottom lashes. Okay, I think I liked how it worked on my lower lashes better than on the top ones. It's just not a mascara that I would really like reach for as my go-to, but it was actually pretty good for the lower lashes. Okay, and now for the Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara. I tried this mascara in my last video. That's really good. It was super easy to really separate my lashes and I got a pretty good amount of volume just with the first coat. And this mascara is $11.99. So I'm just gonna wait a couple seconds again and then I'll do another coat. Okay, well, just by looking at my top lashes side by side, um, I actually didn't like this one as much, surprisingly. On that second coat, it was a little bit harder to work with, so I'm gonna go in with one more layer to see if I can get them normal. Okay, I'm just gonna stop there because I think it's just gonna become a really clumpy mess. I think maybe you'd be better off with just the one coat of the Total Temptation because it starts to get quite clumpy pretty quickly if you try and layer it up and stuff. I'm gonna try on my bottom lashes and when I used this on my bottom lashes before, I really didn't like it. I really don't like that at all for the bottom lashes. It just really clumps together like the little tiny lashes and makes them look so short. Like I don't know if you can tell the difference between these two, but this one just looks like 
really long and they're all like nice and separated and these just look like I know there's some right here that are clumped together there there and then they just look really short okay so the next mascara is this L'Oreal Superstar X fiber so this side is the primer and it's black and then this side is just like the regular mascara and um, I'm not sure if they both have fibers or just one side this is my first time even looking at it okay so Definitely the mascara does I can tell just by looking at it You can see the little fibers and then it doesn't look like the primer does so this mascara is 13 I couldn't find it online for Canada, but it's 13 99 I think um, in the US so it's probably like $16 or something in Canada. I'm just gonna go ahead with the primer first that's gonna be enough so that's just the primer like I don't understand why they make a black primer because I mean like you could just leave it like that and it looks like it's just regular mascara so this is the mascara side with the fibers it's not bad I mean it doesn't really have too much volume but it gave me quite a bit of length. Again, I'm not really a huge fan of the two-step mascaras just because it creates more work when I feel like I would have just got the same effect if I were to only use the mascara. So I'm going to try this on my bottom lashes and I'm going to use the primer for this too. Okay, even just that primer looks really good. I think that they should make a mascara that has like a primer in with the actual mascara so that you don't have to do the two steps. Okay, for the regular mascara on top. I mean, I feel like it just kind of looks the same as the primer did, but it looks really good. I'm going to try actually one more coat of the mascara on the top. No primer, just the actual mascara. Okay, yeah. I like it. It looks good. Okay, so this next mascara is the New Physicians Formula Killer Curves Mascara. It's just like in this silver tube and it's $10.95 US dollars. So it's probably like $13 or $14 Canadian. Okay, so this brush is like an hourglass shape and that's kind of like the NYC Angel Lash and like the L'Oreal Paradise brush. So hopefully it'll be good. Okay, so I'm going to try that out. I mean, it, it, it's making my lashes look really nice, separating them nicely. I just feel like it's not really giving me a whole lot of volume. Like, it's mostly just length. Okay, I'll try that on my bottom lashes. It looks really good on the lower lashes. It did a really nice job at separating them. So I'm going to go in with one more coat on the top lashes. This brush kind of hurts a little bit, like, especially when you get right to the root of your lashes it's almost like the brush is a little bit scratchy so it's kind of hurting it looks pretty good but in comparison to this one um i think the l'oreal what was it the l'oreal voluminous x fiber superstar whatever um that one definitely gave me a lot more volume than this one and i put like more coats of the physician's formula but overall it's still really nice so you can just see what they look like in comparison Okay, so then for my last mascara, I have the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara, and I have mine in waterproof, that's why I wanted to do it last. This mascara is, it's $9.99 US, and I think it's like $13 Canadian. I've never used this mascara before, and I know that a lot of people like it, so I'm curious to see if I'm going to like it or not. We'll find out. Okay, so that's the first coat. It looks pretty good, actually. I'm gonna try it on the lower lashes. Okay, I quite like it for the bottom lashes. Okay, I'm gonna do one more layer on the top. Okay, with the two coats, it's kind of getting a little bit clumpy. Okay, so we're done with that eye. Um, it's not bad. I don't think it's my favorite one. I think out of the ones that I've tried, my favorite one is the um, Maybelline Total Temptation. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on this eye. 
Ugh, yeah, this one I didn't really like for the bottom lashes. Okay, it actually wasn't as bad this time. I think I knew how to work with it. Out of those two, the Lash Paradise was definitely way better. And I really wanted to like this one, but I think... Because I tend to kind of layer up my mascara a couple times, so this one just didn't really work as well. This one is definitely a lot better than the Maybelline. So this is the Lash Paradise, and that's the Maybelline Total Temptation. Okay, guys, so overall, I liked all of the mascaras. Um, I think the Essence one was probably my least favorite, just because... It is still quite wet even though I had used it a few times. And my next favorite I think was this L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar X Fiber Mascara. Just the only thing I didn't really like that it had the primer and the actual mascara. Like sometimes I'm in a rush when I have to do my makeup and I don't want to have to mess with the two steps. And then I'd have to say the Lash Paradise I really liked too because I mean it just looks really good. It separated my lashes really nice and everything. The Physician's Formula Mascara, it was good but I just found that I had to kind of dip into the tube quite a few times to get like the amount of product and build it up and everything so that I don't like quite as much but it was still a good mascara so I don't think there were any mascaras that I like didn't actually like but I'd have to say the bottom two were definitely these two and then this one was probably like a close third I'd say because it just doesn't build up as nice as the other mascaras did. That's it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. If you want me to try out any more mascaras, just leave them in the comments down below, and I'll do another video trying out mascaras in the future. If you, also, if you have any other video recommendations, um, or if you just have any, like, feedback or anything from my channel then please give me some comments down below and I'll see what I can do. Okay so that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!